we'll talk about someone, we'll post something, we'll write something, we'll share something that talks about what somebody did that wasn't necessarily beneficial, that wasn't a good thing. As a matter of fact, most of the time, if you're like me, you'll probably hear and remember things that were wrong about a person quicker than you'll remember what was right about them. Because there seems to be something about our flesh, about the way we are, that's kind of geared into this, let's find out the dirt on someone. And unfortunately, that's become a habit, you know, in Christianity. People want to know the lowdown, the dirt. They want to get sensationalized by the latest shock jock news story that comes flashing over the radio and tells us how bad somebody is. I don't see Jesus doing that. I don't really pick up on it like some people seem to want to make him out to be. I think he brought some good news and because of that, in one of my sites, Last Generation Network News, we decided that with all the bad news that's out there that consistently we post on the internet, Monday through Friday, you know, and we were doing it on Saturday and Sunday too, that after a while, all that bad news began to affect everyone that was involved in it. You could see how people reacted to stories that weren't necessarily so bad, but they became obsessed with the bad part that they couldn't see any good at all. And the Bible teaches us that whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are holy, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, to think on these things. And I know for myself as an editor and the editor-in-chief or the person responsible, so to speak, of Last Generation Network News, I felt a tugging at my soul and my heart that we needed to say something good as opposed to all that was being said bad. So after praying about it for a while, quite a while now, and having some contributing editors also participate in this process, I kind of came to the conclusion that we needed to say something right about the world as opposed to what was wrong with the world because God created the world. Did you know that? And he said after he got done with creating it and he saw it was good. So after I created Last Generation Network News, I kind of thought, you know, we need to do something and say that it was good because I believe in informing everyone about the end of the world and the last days and things that might be relevant to prophecy. But I also think that it's more important to give facts and to give fairness and to give features to those things that do reveal God at work in not just the news, but in the world at large, as well as allowing you, the reader, to see and to understand and to give some kind of information to you that you can kind of you know, decide for yourself where that's going. And Monday through Friday, that's a good thing, because that's kind of like business. You know, business, you kind of have to deal with it, and then you can still go home, you know, and kind of filter out all the garbage of the world. But Sunday morning, you know, I got up this Sunday morning and I said, as I began to do my normal news run, I don't want to say what's wrong. I want to say what's right. So, as I prayed about it, God spoke to me and said, well, on Sunday, you know, share what's right with the world. Talk about some good news as opposed to some bad news. There's lots out there. And, you know, it used to be in the news you could see on local newspapers, kind of like local news that usually had some human interest stuff, you know, and maybe recipes or whatever, you know, but they always had something else that was a part of the newspaper that you could read and get something out of, as opposed to just all the things that maybe tell you how bad things are falling apart. So we decided that on Sunday, on Sunday, we would call it our feature on Sunday. And then as I prayed about it, God said, well, you know, open it up, you know, to more. You know, I, I want more out of this than just a feature on Sunday. So we decided to open up a, a group setting that, you know, can participate that all week long, all the stories that are on Sunday would be featured, you know, as just out there to help encourage the Christian that 
The world is bigger than you think it is. It's not just news about what the end of the world is going to be like, and it's not just news about how things are falling apart or how bad it is. But there is a great, big, wonderful world of Christianity out there for you to participate in and get involved. That when you find out how much Jesus is doing in the world, wow, it becomes wonderful and exciting. It becomes a joy to look forward to what is God doing out there. Because if we only look at what God's not doing, or we think he's not doing, or that it's only negative news, then we don't think that God is real and alive, that he's not personal. And I don't mean just sharing testimonies or sharing those, you know, little miracle stories, but I mean all of it, you know, like Christians who work in science that are discovering new things, you know, and sharing that, and it makes it more applicable to the Word of God and to the Bible as we live it day to day, discovering all that God has for us. So this, then, is going to become our focus on Sunday. On Sunday, we want to seek out those stories and those articles that help us to better appreciate our heritage and our history and the person of who we are as Christians. Because we are the salt of the earth. We are the light of the world. We're not just a news service. We're a light. And we're there not to shine light on the darkness. But we're there to be a light and the darkness would flee. So we're not going to go out of our way to find news stories on Sunday. We want to go out of our way to find good news to share about what wonderful things we've discovered and what a joy it is to be a Christian. Doesn't that sound a little better for Sunday, especially if you woke up on a Sunday morning and you were getting ready for church and you didn't have to read about how bad everything was, but you could read about something good? Well, I hope you find that on Sunday, especially with Last Generation Network News and then also with our new feature during the week when you need some encouragement go over to that group called on Sunday and you might find something encouraging for you to take you through till Sunday <laughs>